Hey yo, what it do crew? I am back with a video I really didn't anticipate having to make and I really wish I didn't have to <sighs> because uh you know we are where we are politically and I definitely am MAGA all the way, 100% conservative, Republican, whatever you want to call it, GOP. Uh, I support Trump. I support his cabinet picks. I hope they all get put through nominated. And if they don't, I hope they get put in through the recess appointments. I was very up at arms with the secret vote that was happening. And I'm pretty sure I made a video referring to it about the senators gathering in secrecy and voting in John Thune. Yeah, Thune and our paw uh, against our will and our knowledge of who voted. So, I'll also preface with, I removed myself from Facebook, Instagram, threads, Twitter, and everything about a year or so before now. After the election, I ended up making an X account with this same, you know, Peace Through Strength podcast motif. And to support Elon Musk because I believe in what they're doing doge I believe in the efficiency commission I believe in um, you know extricating these alphabet three-letter organizations that are ruining our nation and profiting off of our misery I even paid for the check mark you know the first tier you have to get the check mark to network with more like-minded individuals and patriots so Backing up to the John Thune ordeal, um, when that was happening on X, there's a big, huge drive. All a lot of us patriots coming together, saying that if these guys don't vote in Scott, that we're going to primary them and get them out of office come 2026. If you're on X, I'm sure you do know what I'm referring to because you're a part of it along with me, and. Um, you know, there's nothing that makes me more happy than seeing all of us come together and actually applying our efforts towards something that'll make differences in the future for us and the youth of our nation. Fast forward to now. All right. And like I said, I, I love Elon Musk. I love everything. <laughs> I like his businesses. I like what he does. I love the boosters. I love everything about him. I love his relationship with Trump because Trump is the guy. And uh, yeah, all that. But uh, I caught this here violation for violent speech. This happened about 20 minutes ago uh, as of today. And, you know... For people who are preaching about the freedom of speech, to knock me for what you're about to witness is very odd to me because it is not libel, it's not defamation, it's not me, um, you know, imposing violent threats upon someone's bodily figure, it's not me targeting them like in, uh, in terms of a malicious way or context. So as you can see, uh, it says I'm violating the rules against violent speech you may not share abusive content harass someone or encourage other people to do so first of all that's like 98 percent of x in general that's literally 98 percent of x and i don't know why i'm being soloed out whatsoever let's move on to the next uh page here this is what i said Senate Capito. I forget her name now, but there's a fella named Derek Evans from West Virginia who's running the primary her out, which, um, as you'll see, uh, there's a reason I'm bringing that up. But you see what I say. You are so out. Ha ha ha. Let's go D.E. Now, when you see D.E., does that not just strike you as like initials? It's evidently in my mind. If I saw that, I would assume it's somebody I'm referring to. And um, yes, and this is my appeal message right here. I'm referring to out as in her being primaried. Once again, pulling back to the John Thune and the Senate secret vote, we have been discussing ad nauseum about primarying people out in 2026 who are not 
uh, enacting the will of the people. That's been going on for days, pretty much ever since the election. So, and, and this is what I said. I'm referring to Al as her being primaried. This is contextualized by giving Derek Evans, D-E, the initials I referred to, in the text following. So... There was nothing there, at least in my humble opinion. And you guys can tell me if you think I was harassing her. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's a lot more damning things that are on X. It, I mean, I also see people posting on there that he won't. They're sad that he, they won't allow him to say the R word, which, you know, is still pretty much inflammatory and he has a personal vendetta against people saying that word i haven't like i i don't i, I don't say it and if i did I, I probably got limited but i didn't i haven't received you know a, a ban a 12-hour ban for it and i haven't had to appeal anything for it people also want to say the f f word you know the one associated with the uh you know certain community but uh, it, it strikes me very odd. I don't know why I'm being so low out. I didn't do anything to harm anybody, nor am I doing anything overwhelmingly different than anyone else on X or currently in those threads for Derek Evans and uh, I forget her name, the Capitol lady from West Virginia. Either way, that's the one he's going to primary out. He's the one we're supporting. He's going to win. She's going to be out of the way. And that's exactly what this is for. So me being, um, you know, I sh it, it strikes me as odd. Like I said, I love Elon Musk. Everybody gets one. But this is why I got off social media in the first place. And if he's fighting for this actively and it was part of the campaigning, I really don't think your platform should be operating in this manner, buddy. All right? I love you guys. That's all I got over here. Be blessed and stay so.